The LG Velvet has been fully revealed in a hands-on video and I'll be sharing the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and of course the links are in the description. So we now have the LG Velvet in the flesh and can take a look at the full hands-on video of the stunning smartphone to show you guys if this could be the right phone for you. Before we get started, please like the video if you're looking forward to the LG Velvet and if not, let me know in the comments what smartphone you're waiting for. So we've had images and a full hands-on video of the upcoming LG Velvet smartphone and it looks incredible. The photos and video were posted to the website of a Korean store so we'll take a look. If we start with the photos, we get a clear shot of the LG Velvet from multiple different angles and multiple color variants. We get shots from the front and the back and even images showing us the home screen along with using its camera. We also get some new confirmed specs but they're actually exactly the same as what we already had reported so we'll run through all of that shortly. Now to be clear, this has to be more of a promotional video pushed by LG rather than a leak of their phone. At the start, we see someone walking into the store, so if LG had any issues with an NDA, they'd know exactly who breached it, so this video must have been authorized. But we can see from the video the LG Velvet being looked at on the showcase stand in the store, and we get a detailed look at the phone from all angles. We even get another shot of the spec sheet, again confirming that all of the leaked specs we had on the LG Velvet previously are correct. From the initial shot, we can see a couple more velvets behind which appear to be the sunset color and the aurora green. Focusing on this video though, there isn't really anything to confirm as LG already provided us with the teaser that showcased the whole design. It's always a bit different seeing it in person though and I have to say it actually looks better than I was expecting. Something I wasn't aware of though is that we get a shot of a stylus being used with the LG Velvet. This looks to be an official stylus as of course we have the LG logo on the pen. We've also got an image of it coming up on the LG Velvet's display. And finally, the LG Velvet is able to track where the stylus is when it's being moved. If you pay attention to the video, the LG Velvet can detect where the stylus is even when it's not touching the display. And this is very similar to how the S Pen works. They continue to use this stylus and it appears to work well throughout the whole of the UI. For some reason, they also then try with an S Pen and we can see it just doesn't work. We get a glimpse of the Aurora white color variant of the LG Velvet and it also looks stunning. It's very refreshing to see a vertical camera alignment. While I am a fan of the new cameras we're seeing in smartphones, it's starting to feel like they're all the same with their square or rectangular camera modules. I'm glad that LG have gone for something a little more stylish in the LG Velvet and I can see this being a very popular smartphone. The hands-on video gives us a look at the camera and it looks great from the video, but I'll have to provide you guys with an update when we actually receive some camera samples. Given that the phone isn't expected to come with a huge price tag and they're aiming at the upper mid-range here, so I can see this being a very successful device. Now of course, this is the full design and the phone is going to be launched tomorrow on the 7th of May. We already have the full specs for the phone, so I'll run through them now, but we have some decent mid-range specs, so as long as the price is right, then I definitely want to give this one a try. You can see that the LG Velvet is sporting a near full screen display with a water drop style notch on the front. The focus here has been on a sleek design and we can see the top and the bottom bezels are symmetrical which is going to please many. We've also got a 3D arc design on the front where both sides of the LG Velvet are curved with very minimal bezel. The LG Velvet is equipped with a 6.8 inch cinema full vision OLED display at a full HD plus resolution of 1080x2460. The phone has an aspect ratio of 20.5x9 and provides us with 390 pixels per inch. The phone has an in-display fingerprint scanner on the front and while it will support face unlock, it's only going to be 2D face unlock. While focus lately has been on camera performance, which seems to have led to these new rectangular camera modules, LG have done things differently and provided us with a vertical camera alignment in a much more stylish design. The lenses almost resemble water droplets and get smaller as we go down. And we can of course see that the LG Velvet provides a triple camera setup with an LED flash. 
The primary sensor is a 48 megapixel sensor with a standard lens and an aperture of f1.8. It uses phase detect autofocus and includes optical image stabilization. We also get an 8 megapixel ultra wide with an aperture of f2.2. And finally, we've got a 5 megapixel macro lens with an aperture of f2.4. The LG Velvet uses pixel binning technology on its main sensor that can join four pixels together for low light scenarios. It's capable of 4K videos with image stabilization and it's got a voice out focus feature that makes it possible to remove unwanted sounds when recording a video. It's combined with two high performance microphones that allow the user to capture much more vivid and high quality audio when shooting their home videos. To power the LG Velvet, they've decided to go with the Snapdragon 765 system on chip. Of course, some of you may be disappointed to see last year's chipset, but let's not forget that the 765 is a very powerful chipset and it's going to help to reduce the cost of the LG Velvet. It seems like LG have focused on making sensible decisions that provide users with the hardware they need to enjoy the phone and maximize its potential without going over the top. The Snapdragon 765 is going to be paired with a 5G modem, so it will bring 5G connectivity to the LG Velvet. It comes with 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM and 128 gigs of storage, which is UFS 2.1. While you may think that's not enough storage, it also comes with a micro SD card slot for expandable storage. The LG Velvet is of course running Android 10 and the phone is powered by a 4300 mAh battery that supports 30 watt fast charging using wires and 10 watt wireless charging. One of the main areas where LG are trying to excel on this device is of course the audio. The LG Velvet features artificial intelligence sound that can automatically analyze the content being played and determine the optimum audio quality. On top of this, we've got the high performance stereo speakers with Meridian technology to get the best audio out of the phone. Now with the specs out of the way, we can move on to the live footage, launch date and of course the prices. An official teaser has already been published for the LG Velvet, which I'm sure most of you have already seen. The 35 second video was posted to LG's official YouTube channel and gave us a very good look at the Velvet. It confirmed a lot of the details we just covered on the specs and the design and was all we had to go on until now. A Vietnamese leaker, Bobby, posted a tweet to Twitter that gives us four detailed shots of the LG Velvet in the Aurora White and the Aurora Grey color variants. We first get a shot of the rear which falls in line with exactly what we've seen from the leaked info and of course the official video from LG. And of course this was a triple camera setup with the water droplet cameras that they get smaller as we go down. Next we got a shot of the front of the phone and of course we can't see much from this but it does confirm a water drop style notch on the front. Finally we get a look at the inside of the LG Velvet which again confirms the triple camera setup and also we can see the 4300 mAh battery that powers it. At this point we can be pretty certain that this is the phone we'll be getting and all of the specs are correct. Now the LG Velvet is going to be launched on the 7th of May, which is just six days away. We of course have already had this confirmed as it was listed at the end of LG's teaser video, but one thing we have not had leaked yet is the price. Many people are expecting the device is going to be around $820, but an anonymous source has advised me that the LG Velvet is actually going to cost less. Apparently the reason for such compromises was of course to reduce cost and make this more of a mid-range phone than a high-end. But I've been told around $600 to $700 is a lot more likely. If they can deliver this tech at that price point, then it's no doubt going to be a very successful device. Unfortunately, that's all the details I've got for you guys today, but as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Who out there is waiting for the LG Velvet, and if not, what phone are you waiting for? But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.